Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Young, and I'd like to talk to you about the wonders of water. And just behind me, I have an incredible uh, water bar here and several different water machines that I'd like to share with you. Uh, I'd like to introduce you first uh, to some of my water uh, testing technology. Uh, here I have an uh, oxygen meter, and we're going to talk about the, uh, the importance of, uh, of measuring for oxygen which may be uh, something new to, to most of you. I've also got another meter here, which is an oxidative reduction uh, redox meter, which is going to test the energy of the water that we're going to be looking at. And then here I have a, a very simple uh, pH meter uh, that will test the, the pH. So we're going to be doing three tests on water. I'd like to start off with by uh, just getting some regular tap water. Uh, and, and testing that. So I'm going to turn on the regular tap water here and just show you what we're going to be starting. This is our baseline water. So, so we'll go ahead and test this as it relates to pH and we'll get a reading on here very, very quickly and we'll see that our, our basic water that's coming from our own uh, wells here, we have five wells on the property and three springs, uh, we're running about uh, uh, 6.67 and climbing. This will probably settle somewhere between uh, 7 and 7.5. So this is our this is our base water. So we'll start with uh, with that. Also, if we look at the ORP on that, because that'll be important to check out too as well, to check out the oxidative reduction potential on that. Now, when we're looking at uh, water we want to see how much electricity or energy that that water contains. And of course we measure that in voltage and in this case millivolts and you can see the meter here uh, is uh, running positive 438, 39, 440 millivolts. Now what that means is, is that uh, this water is uh, concentrated with hydrogen ions and its electrical potential is actually deficient. So this is an energy deficient water uh, at this particular moment. Uh, we're going to change that and I'll show you how we'll do that uh, here in a moment. Here is our oxygen uh, meter and uh, what uh, we have found is that, that uh, water when it's in acidic condition contains more atmospheric oxygen. So we're going to we're going to test this too as well. We can see here that this water uh, is testing out at 25. It's dropping 24. It takes a few minutes for this to actually settle down these numbers. So give us a moment here. And this is parts per million. So this would be like 19 parts per million of, of uh, oxygen. And the oxygen we're talking about it's not O3, it's not O1, it's O2, so it's atmospheric oxygen. So the more acidic the water is, the more atmospheric oxygen will be contained in this water. Ideally, what we want to happen is for those ions of oxygen to be split apart, creating what is called nascent oxygen, and binding with the acids in the water to create a highly energized water and a high, highly alkaline water. So we're settling down at about uh, 13 parts per million of oxygen. So keep that in mind. Let me just review this. The pH of the water, uh, the pH of our water, our tap water here that's coming from our well, is approximately 6.67. Our oxygen O2 was approximately 17 parts per million. And then the ORP was approximately positive 440 millivolts. These are all characteristics of an acid water, a water that we don't want to be taking internally. So let me introduce to you an apparatus here. It's manufactured by Chanson. This is our top of the line uh, water ionizer, electrolysis machine. It's a seven plate, it has seven titanium plates, and it's got several different settings here. And I want to show you uh, the most alkaline water, and then, of course, we'll come back and show you the most acid water. And we'll test it as it relates to its uh, pH, its ORP, or oxidative reduction potential. And then we'll also test it as it relates to its uh, oxygen 
concentration as well. So I'll go ahead and turn this on and uh, we're going to set it at the uh, strong setting. I have to push it one more time. The fourth section of the alkaline water is being processed. Okay, so we're now processing through the machine my well water. It's coming now through our filtration system and then into the ionizer. Let me just show you what's underneath the sink here. Just for a minute, take a look at this. I've got a 10 part filtration system. It's a nano filtration system that's going to be taking out any impurities in the water. So we want to take lead out, we want to take arsenic out, uh, we want to take uh, hormones out, we want to take fluoride out, chlorine out. We want to filtrate that water, take all the impurities. So as it goes through these nanofilters, whatever's left is going to go through another mini filter in the machine itself and then come across this plate system, seven plates, which is going to separate the water into two, two, uh, two separate flows. The first flow will be our alkaline water, which is here, and our secondary flow will be our acid water. Now here we're going to be getting about 70 to 80 percent of our water is going to be coming through here, about 20 to 30 percent here. So 70 to 80 percent is going to be alkalizing water and 20 to 30 percent is going to be the acid water. So, so let, let's go ahead and fill up our shot glass here of some of this, uh, what I refer to as structured uh, ionized functional water. Let's go ahead and test the pH, okay? So we've got our pH meter here. Let me go ahead and turn this on and uh, we'll set the pH in meter into the water and uh, uh, the water is testing at and it is climbing quite rapidly. We're now at 12.03 and climbing. So we took our well water here which was a 6.67 and we're now up to 12.32 and climbing. 2.12.40, starting to slow down, starting to slow down, and uh, we're now at 12.50. Now, since the pH scale is exponential, if we're going from a pH of 7 to 8, that's 10 times, 8 to 9 is 100 times, 9 to 10 is 1,000 times, 10 to 11 is 10,000 times, and 11 to 12 is 100,000 times, and 12 to 13 is what? Did I lose you on that one? It's a million times, that's correct. A million times. So this water in here is going to be approximately, we're at 12.61, it's going to be approximately 1 million times more saturated with le energy and life force and electrons, a million times more alkalizing than the original water we started with, with the well water. So that's, it, it's still moving, 12.67. Let's go ahead and test its electrical potential. Once again, just to remind you, test out in millivolts. So we're going to test the voltage of this water. Now we're looking for a negative number. So when we turn this on, we're going to be looking for that minus sign. Now that minus sign is giving us the information that what we have is a highly charged, electron-rich, structured, functional water. Still climbing. It's negative 742 in climbing. Now this is not chemically altered water. And this water is created instantly. And, and that's what I like about it. I like the convenience of it. I like how fast we can create it. And I like the end result. Right now we have a highly charged electron rich water that we've created in a matter of seconds. Negative 743. Let's see what happened to the dissolved solids. And I'll explain a little bit of the science behind this because what happens is when we split the oxygen, the O2, the atmospheric oxygen, when it's split, into, when we split it into O1 and O1, that's a, a highly unstable oxygen, so it's immediately going to be attracted to the hydrogen or the acids in the water. And when that happens, we end up increasing the energy value of the water 
and the pH. So it's immediately going down. Remember, the well water was saturated with oxygen at 17 parts per million. And here now we're down to under 10 parts per million. This is a significant test validating uh, that we're creating a water that is uh, very alkaline, very energized, and is saturated with hydroxyl ions, which is perfectly for neutri neutralizing metabolic acids and preventing uh, cellular damage due to metabolic, dietary, environmental, or emotional acids that are created uh, within our bodies. So here is now our functional structured water. I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Wow, you can actually taste those electrons right on the tip of your tongue. Do you remember when you were a kid and you stuck your tongue to the end of a battery and you felt those electrons, you know, those alkaline batteries? Well, it's not quite like that, but it's very similar. You can actually taste the electricity. You're getting recharged. That's how you recharge the body. That's how you energize the body. You see, folks, the body runs on electricity. It runs on electrons, not on calories, not on carbohydrates, not on proteins, not on fats. The body runs on electricity, electrons. And what a better way to get that energy into the body but an ionized structural functional water that's produced by what I believe is one of the top apparatuses uh, in the world today that will do exactly what I need it to do. Create that high pH, that low RRP, that low oxygen saturation, and create additional hydroxyl ions, extra electrons, that literally feed the cells, feed the body, that bring you alive. This is how you get healthy. This is how you get fit.